guys, today me and Dalton are out here uh, a little below zero. But we're braving the weather to bring you this gorgeous Olympic gold, numbers matching, 307, factory four speed, um, all numbers matching, rotisserie restored car. This is probably the nicest Olympic gold four speed 69 Nova on the planet. Yeah, Would you def agree? Definitely a nice car. Um, and how neat is it? have a 307 four-speed car from the factory. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing they really did, guys, is got a, an aftermarket four-barrel on it, but the quality of the restoration on this car is just fantastic. Uh, the Restore, let me point out one thing quick, D. The Restore decided to put a Super Sport hood. Other than that, this is an original body panel car. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, there is a full array of uh, restoration pictures put on our website, documentation on this car, and a full write-up which shows how nice it is. Um, I also want to just talk just a little bit about how nice the front uh, chrome and grill and everything is. It's absolutely flawless. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll also see just how nice the undercarriage uh, is on this car. Now, as we look up and down the sides, the paint and body is absolutely laser straight. I'm gonna go ahead and kick the back eye off. Since it's cold, guys, are choked on just a little bit here. That's a lot better. Um, it does have vintage air conditioning on it, power steering, power disc brakes in the front. Um, you can go here, the paint is code 65, trim is uh, 720, 733, factory black bucket seat interior, and you couldn't get it any nicer than it is today. Really, really nice car. Like you said, it's not a big uh, high horsepower hot rod. Um, this is a car that someone's gonna buy it just because they want the nicest one around, something they can jump in, put on some cold air, and go to a car show. Exactly, put on the cold air, factory four speed, rare car. I mean, how many, like you said, very, very few produced guys. And uh, probably none kept with a 307 in it, yeah. right? That's true. So as we go around this thing, I mean, the gaps are awesome. We have a super nice gap here on the driver's side all the way from front to back. This is a car, guys, you really have to just see in person to appreciate it. You know, a lot of classic cars, Novas, you know, all look nice in pictures and even in videos, but you've got to see the quality of this car. Okay, the only reason we're able to do this uh, video outside today is because on this car, there's not much to point out, so it's not going to be a super long video. <laughs> Thank heavens, man. It's a nine below, but the wind's not too bad. Um, it's got the dual chrome mirrors. All the stainless and chrome on this car are really in great shape. Um, original uh, door handles, you can see just a few little tiny little pits in there, but uh, all original. Same thing with the uh, side body molding. Most people take that off. The Restorer left this. I know how important a vintage air conditioning is, but today we're just worried about the vintage heat. are nice all the chrome was in fantastic condition in the back too driver size just as nice and straight as the passenger side paint is excellent um, as we're going around it the roof is perfect the the side rails right here and the roof panels are excellent um, this car came in just this way we did you know send it through a complete uh, check-in department detail shop buffed it and stuff but it, it really didn't need crap Paint on the door jams is excellent. Same thing here. I mean, this is the quality you get when you do a uh, very nice original and then do a rotisserie restoration on it. Door panels are perfect, and I like the white um, accent here on the door panels. Corner of the door is rust free. How you doing, um, dash pad is excellent, uh, steering wheel, steering column. Uh, the car's got 98,626 miles, factory four-speed, purse shifter, beautiful 
console with all the gauges. It's got the little slide in it like it should. Um, it's got the headrest. Dome light works. Headliner is beautiful. It's got the overhead seat belts. It's got the factory GM seat belts in the back as well. Back shelf is perfect. Rear sails, excellent. I mean, the inside, I'd damn near give it a, a, a 10. I mean, nine and a half, it's gorgeous. I'm over the wheel wells. One thing I did add, guys, I we put the chrome uh, wheel well trim on it, which I just love it. It just, uh, just brings out the car a little more, helps yeah. the color a little. Gaps are great as we come here. Like where the lower quarter meets the lower part of the door and rocker. That's perfect. Same thing in the front. I mean, it doesn't stick out at all. Really nice gaps. Uh, driver's door panel, armrest, pad base, everything. Um, retractable seat belts. Door jam paint. I mean, everything is fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and hop in. Um, right now, guys, it's idling at about a thousand RPM. Um, if it wasn't so dang cold, it would come down a little bit. <laughs> we should have thought about this a little earlier. All right, so our dash pad is perfect. Um, it's got the AC vents in here. Horn works, it's got a little aftermarket tachometer. Computer style radio. The wipers are working perfect. My station. Plus two hundred thousand dollars in play it again prizes. That's a lot of good great. Yeah, it works good. Um, rear view mirror, guys, is super tight. Um, all brand new visors are nice and tight. Like I said, there's just ab dome lights working. There's absolutely nothing to do on this interior. Mechanically, it's awesome. And uh, even though it's cold, guys, I've got to get behind the wheel of this 307 and just prove everyone's ass wrong that this motor is not such a bad motor, right? <laughs> exactly. Seriously. I remember when, uh, like, right when we got it in, you took it out and took it for a spin, you come back and you're all hyped up. Oh my God, this is the best driving car I've ever had. Oh, it's super nice. And a 307 motor, I mean, I know they weren't the, the favorites, but it's still back in 69. It's still got some horsepower. Um, light car, four speed. They watch shitty roads. <laughs> oh, they're terrible, but we're gonna get back and get it get underneath the quick yeah. up again. Listen to that thing. How about that? Brakes and tires loose. Um, we're gonna go ahead, guys, and just talk about as nice as this thing is. The steering wheel is perfectly straight. Um, just brakes on the front work excellent. No pull left or right. And the heater works awesome. Which, thank God, on a day like today, right? We needed it. It sounds great for a little 307 with that dual exhaust. It does. I mean, they did a great job of restoring this car. And the power steering, how nice is that? Uh, factory gauges, let's point those out a little bit. Um, the factory gauge down here on the uh, gas gauge is not working, but the one up here is hooked up, okay? okay. Other than that, we got oil pressure, it's about 60 pounds, just under 60. Uh, temperature gauge is running about 175, volt gauge is working. And I love it, I pointed this out, it still has the factory slide. And I know, that's pretty cool. It's whoever did this just went all out. So, going down the road, no hands on the wheel. Absolutely excellent car. It breaks them loose, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it does. Really 60 nice. mile an hour. Like I said, this is the kind of car it is. Me and Dalton were talking about it right here. What yeah. a car. You don't even need arms to drive this thing. Oh. <laughs> it would be helpful, though. <laughs> but no, Man. I mean, it just... Sweet car, guys. If you look across the hood, the paint job's gorgeous. The inside's gorgeous. Floors are nice. Don't let that 307 bother you. Listen to that son of a bitch. Like I said, if you if you put it together right, I mean that thing will run better than some half ass together up. 390. Oh, yeah, 396, 350. Seriously. I mean the way this thing is set up, you can hear the four barrel open up, you can feel it pull. Um, it's just nice when you get a car that's set up like this. It really oh, is. Restoration. 
ballsy. 307, I'm not worried. Hey, this handles so good, too. I'm oh, impressed. Oh. I'm so you a little nervous? You nervous about 307? No, I, I had faith in it. No, but I mean, this car impressed me. It'll impress you guys, too. Um, but like I said, it's going to go to someone who just wants an awesome car that they can just jump in, drive, take to any car show, um, and just have a and ball win. with it. And win it. Yeah. Guys, check it out on our website. Uh, give us a call. Like Chad said, don't let this little 307 fool you. Um, fantastic car.